For illness, less money. That is a double whammy causing some concerns among the teaching ranks. That's right. 13 Action News reporter Abel Garcia continues our team coverage live right now with the hand wringing going on over health care funds for teachers. Abel. Trisha, I just got off the phone with an educator about 15 minutes minutes ago, and she says that she is rationing her medication as a result of this situation. I also had the opportunity to speak with the executive director of the Clark County Education Association, and he says that the Teachers Health Trust is currently struggling with some financial challenges throughout the past couple of months. And they can also say that they've seen multiple and many educators who have been struggling to obtain their health care, obtaining quality health care for the most part overall. And this is just an ongoing issue as they continue to delay those payments from the trust to those health care providers. And in addition to that, Executive Director John Villadita says teachers health trusts have been facing more medical expenses over the years than the revenue that is coming in, adding the trust has been working with the school district to ensure their employees are covered. Villar Adidas says if you are having problems with your providers to contact the Teachers Health Trust directly. Uh, people should not be denied access of care, should not be denied their benefits, should not be denied their prescription uh, drugs or, or whatever uh, they need. Villadita says if you are an educator facing challenges with health care, contact the Teachers Health Trust directly. Now today, the Clark County Education Association released a letter saying that they're going to work with the Teachers Health Trust to try to provide and ensure that every educator has quality health care. Abel Garcia, 13 Action News. Abel, thank you.